Testing the water in the lagoon has been part of my job as a seafront officer for the last four or five seasons. My office is responsible for eight miles of coastline and along that coastline we have four designated bathing waters designated by the Environment Agency. In the bathing water season, which in England is May to September, the Environment Agency tests on a weekly basis on the beaches. Of our four bathing waters in Brighton and Hove, the one nearest to the lagoon is of excellent quality. So when the water is pumped into the lagoon through the tidal pump, that water that's being pumped in is already classified as excellent. We will then do our own tests from the lagoon every Wednesday, and then that gives us enough time to get the samples sent to the, the lab at Brighton and Sussex University. They can notify us by the weekend uh, if there's anything to worry about. I can't think of any time where I've had to notify the lagoon. Here is an excerpt from the Bathing Water Directive with the requirements for excellent quality. And here is a random test report, and it really was random, uh, taken from last year's samples. Here are the results, uh, three, three, and 10. Being a Victorian installation, there are quite a few cracks in the base of the lagoon, which is actually a good thing because what it means is the water leaches out back into the beach. So in order to keep it topped up, we have to pump back in fresh oxygenated seawater into the lagoon. So it never stagnates. There is always fresh aerated water coming into the lagoon every other day or every two or three days. That encourages a, a very healthy ecosystem. The lagoon is actually more biodiverse than a lot of people might think. Because the water is pumped in from the sea, there's plant plankton present in the water. So in the summer when there is more daylight hours, the plant plankton or phytoplankton photosynthesizes and you get all the, uh, the plankton come to the surface. And it's a natural process and it eventually dies off and that's what the sometimes unpleasant looking thing is on the surface. Nothing to worry about, it's just dead plankton.